Hello Jamie owners, I hope you're enjoying the Jamie layout so far. In this video I would like to help you understand how you can customize the Jamie layouts. The video is going to be separated into a few sections. First I'm going to show you how you can do that using the visual builder uh, and I'm going to explain you how to use sections and modules settings. Then I'm going to explain you what is master CSS file and how to use it. In the end I'm going to show you how to use your browser's developer tools. Also, I'm going to cover some potential issues you might encounter while developing your website. So without any further ado, let's get started. I have an example page with the bar page layouts loaded. And to get started, uh, let's enable Visual Builder. If you don't know what Visual Builder is, it's an amazing new DV feature that allows you to customize and edit the page without actually leaving the page so all the changes you're making you immediately see how it looks like on your page for example if i would like to change this text here i can simply click on it select it and type something something else something else also if you hover over an element a section row or a module you see these uh, options that pop up and that's what we are going to uh, focus on now uh, there are several options here there is an option to move an element uh, you can go to that element settings you can duplicate change the structure uh, save to library or delete what we are interested to see the most in this video is how to customize uh, any module so let's just use this text module as an example what we are going to do is uh, we are going to click the module settings and let's see what we have here here we have three tabs content design and advanced tab inside the content tab obviously we can we can make content updates we can update the title from here too title 2 and we can change the description text also and using this build the, using this editor we can also add uh, some text formatting uh, we can add images and more also we can link link this particular text all the complete module we can assign this module a background and more but design tab is the tab that we are going to use the most let me just have any text here uh, description text for example uh, design tab is the tab that we are going to use the most you can control the text the text uh, general design here but also you can uh, control only the title text it's really easy to change the color uh, font size letter spacing and more make sure to check all these options to get familiar with it uh, and also we can control the body text too it's the same we can switch alignment change the colors and really everything that relates to text and also keep in mind that all these options are uh, options predicted for the text module if you go to any other module and click the module settings you're going to see the same three tabs but these uh, settings may differ for example if it's an image module you can change uh, some uh, settings that are specific to the image module uh, just to give you a quick overview of these options here you can add a button you can change the sizing that's width uh, spacing margins and padding you can add a border box shadow and even animation and that's it so once again make sure to check uh, all these options to get familiar with it uh, I'm just now giving you a quick overview of it and then there's advanced tab here we can assign this module a unique ID or a class and you can add your own custom CSS and you'll oftentimes find some custom CSS already added here so if you would like to customize a module first place to check is the design tab and then advanced tab custom CSS as you can see uh, there are some custom CSS uh, blocks here 
So that's it for this. Now let me show you how to use master CSS file. To make the layouts even better we had to use some custom CSS because there is some design that couldn't be achieved using only section and module settings. And most important parts of that CSS uh, in order to make some basic customizations such as changing the colors, fonts and hover effects is located in this master CSS file. You can open it if you go to settings Jamie Assistant. Under get started tab scroll down and you're going to see this button to open it. Select everything and copy then paste it in your text editor. I'm using Notepad++ as my text editor. It's a free and a really great one that I can recommend uh, but if you use any other text editing software that's okay too. When you open this file you're going to notice that it's really well commented. That means that uh, there is a comment with the name of each Jamie layout so you can easily find what you're looking for. For example here's the Jamie about page comment so I know that this CSS belongs to Jamie about page. If I scroll down I can see Jamie blog, uh, Jamie landing blog and uh, all other Jamie page layouts. What I have here is about page as an example that I'm going to use. So if I would like to change something here and I can't find that in the sections and module settings, I want to check the master CSS file and of course find the Jamie about page comments to use the CSS for that particular layout. Uh, let's use any of this CSS as an example. Let's for example use this one. This CSS is going to change this title here. So what I want to do is I want to uh, change this CSS for example here's the font weight is set to 400 I can change that to 9 and what I want to do is I want to select and copy only this. Then I want to go to my page click edit page now I'm using the backend editor, you can use the Visual Builder too, that's fine. Then I want to go to page settings and inside the custom CSS box I want to paste this CSS. So very important, do not edit plugin core files, you just want to use the master CSS file to copy the blocks of CSS that you, where you have made your changes, then paste it on your website. Uh, so let's preview our page and make sure that this worked and as you can see uh, we have our story title uh, now the font weight is 900 here's the default one uh, so you can see the difference and that's it that's how you use master CSS file to open your browser developer tools press F12 on your keyboard this is going to open something like this. I'm using Mozilla Firefox but it's really similar in Chrome and any other major browsers. And the only tool we want to use this time is the inspect element tool, this little arrow icon here. Click on it and then you will see that when you hover over an element you can select and click it. For example if I click on this about text I'm immediately given some CSS on my right here. See how that changes if I click on another element. And if I switch back to about text, I can see this about text CSS. And what's really great about this is that it tells us exactly where the CSS for this very element is located and uh, what it contains. Now let me show you how this helps. For example if I click this image I can see uh, this CSS here. It says that it is located inside the jamieabout.css file on the line 6 and I can see it has display block property and width 100. For example if I want to make this 50% uh, instead of 100 I can simply change it and then I want to copy this CSS and paste it back 
in our edit page window as the same as we did with the master CSS. Once again, I don't want to edit plugin core files, I don't want to edit Jamie about CSS. The reason for that is that all such changes will be lost with each plugin update. So instead, just copy, make your changes and then paste the CSS on the page itself. However, sometimes uh, instead the CSS file name you're going to see inline. What inline means is that this CSS that you see is not located in any external CSS file. Instead, it is somewhere in the module settings. So this here, margin bottom and margin left, this is set somewhere in the module settings. And that's it, that's how you can find where some CSS is located and whether you should look for it in some external file or in the module settings. If it happens to you that you're updating your website but you don't see anything changed, uh, that may be due to caching enabled on your website. If you have any caching plugins activated, please deactivate them temporarily and have them activated back again only after you have finished building your website completely. Additionally, you want to disable uh, team integrated caching. To do that, go to DV team options, scroll down to bottom and disable these two options, minify and combine JavaScript files and minify and combine CSS files. Also, go to builder, advanced and disable static CSS file generation that save your changes. Now go back to your page and hard refresh it by holding control button and pressing F5 on your keyboard. This is going to clear the caches and refresh the page and that should help. That's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.